What up y'all, T-Skip here and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, it'll be about WoW's new limited time event, the Pandemonium or Mr. Pandaria Remix. So this video will be about how it works, uh, the systems and features tied to it. And at the end of the video, we will go over all the vendors that you can collect just tons of stuff in it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so to start off this video, I wanted to show how the interface of your character select would be when you first logged in. So as you can see at the top up here, uh, just like how it is now with Plunderstorm, we'll have this Mr. Pendary remix. You can click it and this splash screen will pop up and you can read it about questing raids and mechanics, unique rewards and all that right there. Uh, if you go over here, you can see here is my regular characters from the game and they're just normal. But if we click on this one, you'll see it has a little hourglass there. And that makes this the time running, running character. So you can only use this in the Mr. Pandaria Remix. Now, if we go over here to click create new character, you'll see you'll have two options. Your standard, you know, and wow. But now we have time runner. Create a time runner to participate in the Mr. Pandaria Remix and earn exclusive rewards. Uh, this character will become standard character when the event ends. So after the event is done, your character will transfer to the standard retail version. So this is actually pretty neat and I do like that. And uh, I'll give you more of my thoughts on that uh, here in a little bit. But right here, I made this character ready to work. <laughs> and uh, I haven't logged in yet. So I'll show you how the beginning is when you first log in. So it doesn't just automatically throw you into Mr. Pandaria. You got, sorry about the noise. It will throw you into this little starter zone here. It's, everything is going haywire. And don't be worried, I'm not gonna show the quest or anything. I just wanted to show how the beginning was right here. And what you'll do is follow the quest and it's pretty much just gonna give you an idea of what to expect going into the mode. So now we will hop on to character I did a little bit on. All right, so you finished your character, you've got out of that starting zone. As soon as you get out of there, you'll be right at the beginning of how you started Mr. Pandaria. Uh, the actual intro will play, the little cinematic, so you'll have all that going into Mist. Once you're aboard your ship, um, however you're starting, whoops, uh, it'll go over this little feature right here and you'll also end up collecting your cloak. Now, I didn't go too far in this, so I can't go talking about the, you know, farther into it. But I will say the cloak pretty much just keeps getting uh, updated. So you see how it got Time Runner advantage there. If I mouse over it, it's showing all these stats with plus whatever next to it. You will gain these just randomly from opening chests, from looting uh, enemies from all over the place. And it'll just automatically add to your cloak. So your cloak will get stronger over time. Then you'll end up doing this little part before you get off the ship and head on here. Uh, your extract gem and the unraveling sands. Now the unraveling sands is pretty neat. Um, I don't really have, you know what? I'll just sacrifice one of these. So if you open this, you'll see the sands pop up and you can click on it and it's just this empty thing right here. So what you can do is take a piece of gear that maybe you've out leveled and you don't need anymore. So we'll just take these boots right here throw those in there say I don't need them anymore and let's scrap them and as you can see I got bronze now bronze is the bread and butter of this event this is what's gonna upgrade your gear and buy you all those cool cosmetics that you want to get now the other neat thing about this one is you're gonna get this right here extract gem now pretty much all your gear is gonna have like these gem slots so as you can see right there this one has a cold front so it's got an ability to, to it but my chest right here is just plus crit and now i think there's a helm gem too so you'll have plenty of sockets and gems but as we see this one right here see this has the cold front i can click this and boom i've taken that gem out so if i really want that one i can keep it so that way i can trash the bracers get some bronze for it as you can see down here, bronze, and now I get to keep my gem. 
One thing I don't know, I don't know if it's a bug or if it's intended this way, or maybe later on into the game, or yeah, into this, you can uh, trash your gems, because right now when you click on it, I cannot scrap the gems. So like this one right here, healing an ally, well, I'm on a BM hunter. I'm not going to be healing anybody, so I'm not exactly sure how these extra gems work because you can't sell them either. So I don't know. That's one part on this. Uh, another thing to talk about is you will start at level 10 and you automatically have flying. So it makes it so much more faster. Boom, you got that and you're good to go. And you definitely also have uh, your dragon flying. Now, another thing is, where do we get bronze from? Uh, we get bronze from everything, like literally everything. So killing monsters, or monsters, adds, whatever. Uh, kill them, they will give you bronze. Your quests, it seems every quest has these. Instead of giving you like specific loot items, except for maybe some later quests there, but every quest I picked up has the cache of the infinite uh, treasures. And it has a chance to have pretty much everything uh, and then there's also this I've noticed if you're used to the dream surge let's see should have been well there was some right there did they change right there you see that guy right there it's just like the dream surge but now if we go through it boom just got 12 bronze so there's another way to get bronze so there's plenty of ways to get bronze out of this so that's how we get bronze um, I guess now let's look over the talent system on here. So if you go to your collections, all your mounts, transmog, everything's here. But your talents, you are gonna come in just stock. So as you can see, I'm a level 10. Well, now I'm a level 12, I think. Yeah, I'm level 12. And you're gonna start working your way down the talent system. So it's not the old system. It is still the new retail version. You're just gonna make your way down. And I do recommend, I mean, this is just me saying, uh, if you follow guides in the, you know, retail, you just go on like Wildhead or Icy Veins and just make it, have fun with this one. Since this is an event, go through here and just play the way you want to play. Uh, another feature I will tell you is, it seems as soon as you go in, uh, let's see, do I have a key on? Yep. You will be able to join the groups right off the bat. So you can see right here, I can join a dungeon. Boom, so you won't even have to wait if you don't feel like questing. Uh, I'm not sure what the dungeons give, but I was uh, at least the boss drops, but you will get a cash from here. Uh, if we go here, so I'm really early level. You can see Temple of the Jade Serpent, Scarlet Hall, Scarlet Monastery, and Scalamance all start at 10 to 70. Another one is scenarios. So you can already queue up for scenarios. So that'll be here, and then there's Heroic which start from 10 to seven. So you can jump in those right away. Raid Finder says this feature is not yet available. I don't know if they'll bring that in or maybe you gotta get to the max level. Not sure about this one, but there is pre-mades as well for questing dungeons and scenarios. All right, so before we move on to the vendors, I wanted to talk about a couple other things. So I came out here to a different zone because I just wanted to see if it would scale. I probably could have just moused over it. But uh, yeah, it definitely doesn't scale. I just got one tap by these old bees. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about is I don't know if it's a bug or if it's intentional because of how mist is laid out. But if we get on our dragon riding mounts, there is no second wind. So the ability that gives you an extra vigor bar or a bigger charge, uh, it's not in here. So even if we go to the spell book and we look for dragon riding, it was not added so the second wind ability it's, it's just not here so just know that going into it all right so now we are essentially at our main hub pretty much where we can do our armor upgrades uh buy gym items buy all our collectible items this is where all the vendors are and if you're a collector this is going to be <laughs> your main part because there's just a ton of stuff to grab so uh first off where you see up here it says the infinite bazaar there's one of these in every zone except for one and i'm pretty sure it's just a bug or they just haven't added it or not but if we go up here to the cumulus summit as you can see this right here it looks like a little house with the hourglass 
There's your infinite bazaar. And it is in every single zone. Near the Bell of Eternal Blossoms, right there. Except for down here in the wilds. Uh, I have, there's not one that I see on here. Uh, you can see this one up here, but it's really in the Valley of the Four Winds. So I'm pretty sure it's just a bug. But yeah, so that's that. So once we get in here, let's take a look at all the vendors. So there's quite a lot of stuff. So we'll look at this guy real quick. Um, he sells a bunch of just random goods for all kinds of different things like healing, a uh, bottle of bees that does that. Just go through this and look and see what you want. Uh, this is the interesting one right here. Is Nostalwind Voucher returns you to a nearby infinite bazaar. So you can get back here. So as you have noticed when I open my bag, there is no Hearthstone. So yeah, if you're wanting to get back here easy, but with Dragonflight, it's pretty easy to get. But if you still need to get back somewhere or to get back here just to chill or whatever, uh, you're going to need these because, like I said, there is no Hearthstone. Uh, this is another one right here. I want to see if he actually sells it because I got this as a drop. Um, I don't see it in here. Interesting. So I've got this from a drop right here. These Drake Treat. It says Unique 3, so I'm wondering if we can buy this anywhere. But that is essentially that second win. Uh, kind of with a little bit more of a oomph to it. So as you can see, fully restores vigor and grants a burst of flying speed. So you can use this while you're dragon riding, which is pretty interesting, but we'll have to see how that all goes. So now let's move on to the big boy vendors. So now we are at, as you can see, this says raid appeal and raid finder appeal. The interesting thing about these vendors is they're not just for your class so as you can see this one right here usable on mage priest and warlocks or uh, appearances only usable by mage priest and warlock so if we click it you can see now this is where it gets me a little confused on bot two and if i mouse over it, it says collect the appearances of this armor set so if i'm not mistaken i read this right when i use this you will get the appearances for the regalia, the burning scroll, uh, whichever raid, for all three of those. So it says the appearances for uh, this armor set. So you should be able to get the mage, priest, and warlock set. So that is super cool if you're able to do that. And this has all of them. So if we go down to right here, demon hunters, druid, monks, and rogues. Uh, move on over you can see right here same thing and then we got evokers hunters and shamans so everything's listed in here from the normal rates uh, you can actually take a look at these right now in retail and just click your sets and go down to mr pandera and you'll see your normal and your raid finder now oh and here's a little show for you if you're wondering what the mythic plus mount looks like for season four, there it is. That's the season four mount that you get. And this guy right here is going to be your fun guy, Hemet Nimingway. So if we click him, we have a ton of mounts to go through. So these are a lot of them are recolors right here. Uh, the discs. And then we got the little kite mount. And we got a bunch of these recolors of so the cranes. They all cost bronze. Bronze is bread and butter. And we move over here, and then we got two yaks, or goats. We got two of these guys, the big ones. Right there. Then now we got the yaks. More of the recolors on the yaks. Then the juggernaut got a recolor. There's a blue. And the fells. There's a green version. Then this one right here is the one I've got it. And the only way you could have got it in retail is uh, the meta achievement or not the meta achievement, the raid achievement. Uh, but now they have a bunch of recolors. So there's the red one. That one looks pretty cool. Dark brown or purple. We got the green. We got this brown and that's that one. So now we can move on to the Quillins couple of those then this is the cash shop mount that they have recolored i think 
I'm pretty sure that that was the only one. <clears throat> and now we get into the big boy ones. So uh, all these right here are gonna be your rare drops from in the game now. So if there's any of these you've been really wanting for a long time, or you just don't feel like farming it, uh, they're actually right here. And I've got a suspicion the Heavenly Onyx Cloud Serpent is gonna be a big one to get. So we can look at these. Uh, that one's from the raid, I think. Can't really remember where that one's from. Uh, they had level requirements too. So these two were 32. This one is 17. I think that's from the War Bringers. There's that one and that one. This is from the raid 35. Uh, here's your Astral Cloud Serpent if you wanted that one. Here's the Onyx one. That one is from the 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 one of the Isles one over there. It's a rare spawn. And there's that one, the Heavenly Onyx. They put that one on here for 38,500. Uh, I can't remember where that one comes from. And this one is 50,000. This is the one that's outside the Throne of Thunder, but that is the most expensive one. And then they put the Mythic drop. So if you really don't want to farm the Mythic anymore, uh, there it is. You can buy this for 38,500. So there's some pretty big mounts in here for the mount collectors. Now we can move up to here to this guy dancing around. He sells your class sets. So for me, uh, your class sets from the trading post. So those little, the ones that was put on this guy, that's only got a couple pieces. Well, these are the recolors. Uh, right now, it looks like you can only get the one for the class you're playing, but I'm pretty positive that will change because I know they're not gonna want you playing every class this is supposed to be a limited time fun event so i got a feeling that will change but if we go to all you can see that they're on here i'm guessing you still can because all it says is use to collect it but if you hit all on here you can see that it'll show all the classes but it'll be a recolor so let's just go here you can see there's the monk uh the mage ones cool that gives that kethalos kethalos look to it uh, Evoker. So they're all in here. Just come and take a look at them. They're just three colored of them. Uh, there's the Shaman one. Uh, the Warlock. And I guess somewhere. I can't remember. But now the other guy out here is going to be where you upgrade your gear. So let's go ahead and throw uh, the chest in here. One thing I noticed is that right there, your cloak. You can't upgrade it so i'm guessing this gets upgraded with time uh, as you level so here's the cloak and if we open it up yes there is 36 levels but i'm sure when you're leveling up you're going to get better gear so you won't have to use it as often but you can level items up in here it'll be the exact same thing like how it is in uh dragonflight when you're upgrading just you're using bronze to use to upgrade that so now let's go inside to the vendors. So this one right here will be your dungeon appeal. So just like the raid ones, this is the exact same. So as you can see right here, demon hunters, druid, and monk. So you'll be able to collect different sets from the dungeons. If you're after those, just click through those to see it. Next, we will have our gym uh, vendor. That if you haven't got any dro drops and you're wanting some, you can see open meta gym. You can get different ones. And as you can see that there is four of them. One for your gear, one for your bracers, one for, I think this is your boots. And I think this will be your helm, your meta gym. I uh, could be wrong with that, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Now we move over to the mythic and heroic rate appeal. So now we, oops, uh, I'll talk about that here in a second. Um, you'll see that now we have the raid in mythic or the heroic in mythic versions, uh, the same ones that were outside. So if there's any of those you're after, you can just come in here and look at those. Now, this is the interesting one right here, the world of pill. So these are the mogs from outside the world area, but they have added a couple that is very unique. Uh, the good thing is they are very low so like some of these right here they're only 2500 so 
if you always wanted that shadow pan look, you know what? Let's take off the weapon. Let's see. And there you go. So if you always wanted that shadow pan look like the uh, pandas out here, that looks super cool. So that's one of the looks. And now there's the other one. So I really like that. Now, this is the one that's got me. Uh, in my transmog video, I talked about the shaman set that drops from the Siege of Ogamar. Uh, it's a very low drop chance. Well, there's three that you can buy just right off the bat in here. So there's that color. There's that color and that color. Now, the thing that's unique here is when I mouse over it, all it says is collect the appearance of this armor. It doesn't say anything about it being shaman specific. So I'm not sure if anyone can use it. It does say up there, the Corcoran shaman. So I could be wrong and this could still just be for shaman, but it isn't like grayed out or red or anything. So it could be wrong there. It could still be shaman, but just wanted to mention that. And then we got some other mogs here. Oh, let's get that one that are like just basic mogs. And if we go through, you'll start seeing different ones or like that, priests, warlocks. You just click through these and see the ones that you like. Uh, they'll just be world ones on there. So that's that. The other one, last one is the toys. So if you're a toy collector, you are gonna have just a fun time collecting because there is an absolute ton of them in here. So you can see, I think a lot of these came from Timeless Isles. So they'll be on there if there's any that you are still missing. Uh, but they do get kind of pricey. As you can see, that one's 50000 for that one. Now, the last one I wanted to talk about. Um, I was wondering if that was the PvP thing. I'm wondering if that's going to be part of this. Is this one right here. So apparently this was from the Miss Pandaria pre-patch. Uh, and they brought it back for in this event. Now, the one thing... I still don't know for sure is as you can see it's red so it says hoard only so I'm guessing I could still buy it and use it I just can't actually use it but it is red so I'm not positive so if I go here I don't have the bronze to buy it but I just wanted to mention that it does say hoard only but I'm not positive if you can just get it and use it and learn it so your hoard characters can get it so that's one thing to note now, as you can see while I'm in here, they all have a daily quest. So if we click and look at it, looking for group, you can see defeat three dungeon bosses and you can get a cash and a treasure thing. So you can get bronze here and then just random stuff from that one. Uh, same thing from over here, looking for more defeat two raid bosses. And then over here, we will have first scene, complete a scenario so you will have those to do on there so that is that and the last thing i wanted to show off is the roost is in here too so if you do feel like changing your dragon mount it will be in here so you'll be able to change it as you want as they've added that part all right so for the final part of this video i wanted to talk about the achievements so if we go in here you can see Pandaria Remix has its own achievement tab and the subsections for it will be quests, reputation, exploration, scenarios, dungeons, and raids. Now the ones in here, uh, at least every single one I've clicked on, are just caches. So you will get bronze cash on pretty much everything uh, on the subsections. So that's that. At least you'll get something for completing any of the achievements, which I do like. Now the main tab is where you will be getting all the good stuff. So like the Phoenix Mount, August Phoenix, that one's in there for reaching level 20. So that one's a super easy one to get. And you got one for 40, 70. Then you can just go down these and see how to earn each of them. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'm wondering what that illusion looks like. Let's take a look real quick, see if that illusion's in there. So let's go to collections. Go here to Illusion, Primal Earth. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's in here. Oh, so some of it isn't in here. 
I know the chin hat is, so we can take a look at that one really quick. There is Chim Storm Stout helm right there, like from the cinematic right there. You can get the angle where <laughs> to look there. Uh, then I know, let's take a look and see about the mount. So, let's see, August Phoenix. So, that right there you'll get for level 20, which is super easy to get. So, that's at least two of them you can see right there. And uh, yeah, so when you're doing this and you're leveling up, try to just focus on the oops, the main hub right here. So this will be pretty much your guide to collecting a lot of this stuff. So that wraps up everything uh, that I know pretty much about the event going on. So let's get into the outro and there's a few things I'd like to mention in there. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Alrighty, so that's a quick explanation of what's going on in the Pandemonium remix for Mr. Pandaria. So, honestly, I think this will be a really cool event. And I hope people don't take it too serious. Just relax, have a good time, collect what you can, enjoy the talents, join raids, just have a good one. Uh, this one, to me, feels like it's definitely created for the collectors in mind. There's just so much to collect here. It's going to keep you really busy. I will tell you that, but to me, it's better to have majority, a lot of stuff than not enough stuff. And uh, so I think it's pretty good. Also, I will say if you're used to Diablo seasons at all, this 100% feels exactly the same. Almost like D3, I guess D4. Pretty much you're going in, you're gonna be super fast leveling. Uh, you're gonna have gems that you're gonna put in and out. And also, uh, I didn't go over the different gems because honestly, I don't know them all. So I will be putting a link in the description if you want to look at the different ones. Uh, I personally don't care. I'm just going to roll with it and see what I get. But also, it feels like Diablo because you're going to get the gems. You're going to level up super quick. You're trying to do what you can before the event ends. And then as soon as the event's over, you're going to go to retail. So it's pretty much like Diablo. Just instead of being a season, you get moved to Eternal Realm. So look at it like that, which honestly I think is a good thing. I think it'll be fun. And uh, if everybody enjoys it, they might end up doing this for other expansions. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this one. I tried to just run it down quick so it didn't take too much time. Uh, if you enjoyed it, consider leaving me a like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you. Peace.